Hello guys, in this video I will show you how you can use parametric design to define a sketch in Fusion 360. For the purpose of this video I will be designing a GT2 pulley. And before we move on, here we got some technical reference which will help us to define our sketch. In the right hand you got uh, some variables which are a number of teeth, pitch diameter and outside diameter. Those values have formulas, which you will see later. In the left hand, we got the actual belt profile, which serves us as a graphical reference to also define our sketch. Without more, let's get to it. Okay, so here we are at Fusion 360. Before we move on, I wanted to say that you can use parametric design to don't repeat yourself. Instead of doing the same thing over and over again, you can use parameters and formulas that will help you to auto-scale your sketches. Moving on to modify, change parameters, and here I got all the parameters and formulas that will help me to auto-scale my sketch. You can add more parameters and variables by clicking in the plus sign and giving the name you want, for example, my var. Choose the units, whether you are using metric system or inches. And also you can use current, luminosity, mass, percentage, pieces, temperature, or any stuff like that. The expression is the actual formula if you want it to be a formula. For example, 4 plus 5 divided by 2. Uh, or you can multiply some numbers. And also you can play with the already defined parameters like OD divided by PD sorry PD then here in comment you can say for example the ratio between OD and PD any stuff like that you click OK and here we got our new variable my var so I will not explain all of those formulas, but I will attach them for you in the video description. I will also leave a .txt file, which has the description of any parameter. Moving on to our design. We select a plane and start sketching our pulley. D for dimension. This is the outer diameter of the pulley. You can take a caliper and measure it with a caliper. Then we click on offset and type H underscore. Now we need to draw a vertical line and an horizontal one. and make them for construction All right so then we click again in a circle we draw the circle and this is the roundness of the belt tooth which i name vtd underscore it is tangent to our inner circle again select a line which will be at an angle of th underscore which is the radial distance between two teeth I will make that line also for construction and I need to repeat this circle which will be its twin Sorry. and it is also tangent to the inner circle. We are close to 
finish our pulley we need to draw the roundness of the teeth in the pulley which I name PTR underscore it is also tangent to the outer circle and the circle of the belt it also has its twin and we need to give the tangent relation so now we finish our tooth profile and we can extrude EX distance uh, looking good now we are going to create a circular pattern select the set axis and in quantity you can enter N for the number of teeth click OK and here we are with our new pulley extruded I forget to draw a circle here for the motor shaft which will be SHFT underscore again E for extrude and extend to this face and click OK so here we are with our fully finished as I said earlier you can use parametric design to quick mo quickly modify the dimensions of the pulley if I want it to be a 45 teeth pulley I just click here 45 click OK and it will dimension itself isn't that amazing yes it is you can also click 60 teeth and now you got a 60 teeth pulley so now you can take this design into manufacturing processes if you like the video please share and subscribe give it a thumbs up and see you in the next video